Hello, my name is Mark from jazzguitarlessons.net and welcome to jazzguitarlessons.net vlog. So this is the issue where we talk about, of course, it's my favorite book of the recent times, a part-time practice project. So we're talking about Rhythm One, which is of course based on rhythm changes. So it's a comp, a very straightforward guitar comp at a, this is the fastest tempo we've seen so far. And a really interesting, a lot of half notes and a lot of lots of swinging rhythms. So what I'll do, I'll let you go and watch a performance of it, and then I'll be right with you right after, so we can uh, talk about some of the details. Uh, rig rundown quickly. Uh, for this one, I have my, of course, this is a Zoom H2N simple microphone that I'm talking into. I'm using a Fender Blues Junior with one pedal, believe it or not. Uh, Holy Grail Plus by Electro Harmonics. It's a reverb pedal. Uh, I love the sound on this setup. I just I typically shoot those with a Roland Cube, and uh, this this much warmer. It's I don't know. It's round and it sounds like it sounds like me a little bit. So, uh, so and the picks of course my Dunlop Jazz Trees, not the ones with the grip, just the old school Dunlop Jazz Trees. Uh, so have fun with the video. Uh, oh yeah, Good Day. Of course my Good Day Montreal premiere. This is the guitar. And I will see you right after the playing stuff. And one, two, three, four. Okay, welcome back. I hope you have enjoyed the performance of that rhythm change uh, comping. Of course, this is on I Got Rhythm or the form jazz musicians refer to as to, it's called rhythm changes because it's use, it uses the chord, it's A, B, A song form. Um, it's a very typical type of thing. The bridge goes to a three dominant chord, etc. So this is a basic one. And you'll notice me doing a lot of this because my my book is right on my, my table, my uh, on my desk right in front of me, my good old IKEA desk. So a few things you have to keep in mind. Uh, for me, this was the most challenging tempo so far of all the pieces we've recorded in that book. And uh, one of the things is, it's so tricky to have your metronome clicking on two and four, mm, and just play half notes. I would advise you to do Something in that vein to go one, two, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, and just use the chords and not even consider the rhythms and just play them in half notes. Just see what happens because when you're playing half notes, you're playing on beats one and three, right? And your metronome is swinging, clicking on two and four. So it can be kind of brutal and you'll notice you will rush or you will drag. It's hard to keep it right in the middle because you're responsible for beat one, the biggest rhythm. So this is one of the things that I personally found challenging. Um, outside of that, there are no really surprising grips. Uh, my my beef, my problem with that piece is really bar 9, 10, 11, where it goes like this, then these diminishes, then do it again, then do it again. This is something I had to practice to get it fluid and you'll see in the video, it's not quite fluid. Uh, to be honest, it's a cold day. This is, this studio is in a basement, and it's pretty cold, so my fingers are kind of all sore, and I I I didn't perform as well as I expected to. But hey, tell me, this is how it goes. Uh, so be careful with that little diminished pass. This is a Galbraith 
idiomatic voicing even the book starts with you've all played this probably and this is the this type of reverse voicing where your index goes that way and uh, be careful with it the other thing to be careful with as of a swinging rhythms and notice bottom of page 24 so you get these typical you know these these voicings and I have did I, I did some work with uh, some private students to get this motion going so this is effectively a C minor 7 going to a B flat diminished to a C6 uh, B flat 6 so it's like this old school this is going like this and uh, all the yeah this is what's happening actually so get this little voice leading make sure you're able to do this because it happens in a few spots in the piece or just plain form it's a really good little swing lick to end tunes on so this is one of the things uh, outside of it uh, i would just recommend you really make sure your fingerings are maximized or optimized so when you get a thing like this guy you get this so be in a habit to so this would be c minor seven flat five or um e flat minor six if you want so when you will encounter those so page 25 somewhere around the middle so third staff you get e flat minor six nine and you cannot you cannot grab this with four fingers and then do this it won't be fluid so be in the habit of using uh, partial bars with your index when you, you reach these spots so i'll give you an example people go g13 and then g9 so it has the same shape as a b minor 7 flat 5 but you encounter this in the bridge so one thing i would do i go oh it goes like this so instead of going three fingers four fingers i'd go bar bar this guy so you can you kind of save save some energy this is going to come come in handy uh, when you're at up tempos like this one so i in the time I've worked on this in the past few weeks, I kind of made sure that I was optimal in my fingering so that when I cranked the tempo, it would feel more natural. Uh, so that's it. Please let me know if you have any questions about this one by commenting in uh, either the page below or on the YouTube video. It's always a pleasure to hear your feedback or to see if there's anything I can help you with within the video. As always, uh, please do subscribe to our YouTube channel for more videos and free lessons and vlogs and whatnot like this. Uh, you can visit also our website jazzguitarlessons.net and improve your jazz guitar playing with a real teacher. That's me. And you can also visit the store, which is located at store.jazzguitarlessons.net to either purchase premium products, take private lessons, join in on workshops. This is a new thing. It's not public yet soon. And or you can join a membership to access all of our, our courses and tutorials and ebooks all at once. All right. I'll see you soon on the website. Take care. Thank you.